Hi, my name is Jim Reed and I'm one of the Rockworks programmers. Today we'll be briefly touching on some of the new features introduced within Rockworks 2020. Please note that I'll just be talking about what's new. This is not a training class. We've noticed that some of our Rockworks 17 users have downloaded Rockworks 2020 but they haven't unlocked it yet. We as software users ourselves certainly understand the reluctance to embrace new versions. So my job today is to provide some compelling reasons to make the switch. But first, I want to point out that Rockworks 2020 will automatically read your Rockworks 17 databases without any fuss. The same applies to the datasheet files. Now, let's say that you have three screens. You can drag the tab panels from the main menu to other screens. You can even dock panels within other panels. You can stretch and squish these panels to achieve just the right layout. To redock everything back into the main menu, select the Layout Default Tab Layout option. While we're here, notice that there are options for saving and retrieving up to five layouts. These custom configurations are handy when moving between your office and your home monitor configurations. Other layout tools include a stretch tool that will fill all your screens with the contents of the current form. This is obviously great for cross sections. A tool for tiling all open forms into a matrix. A cascade form option. And horizontal and vertical tiling options. After 38 years of adding programs to Rockworks, even we are starting to forget what's where, hence the search option. This tool uses a soundex or a sounds like algorithm which allows for misspellings. For example, if I type CONTURZ, the program will find all occurrences of contour, CONTOUR. The search includes multi-term and or logic to help isolate the program that you're looking for. For example, if I type model, I get 206 programs. If I type lithology, I get 23 hits. But if I type lithology model using the and logic, I've narrowed it down to 14 programs. You can then click on the results to either view a description, run the program, or add it to the favorites list which I'll show next. The favorites button located at the top of the main Rockworks menu provides a way to quickly access commonly used programs. Items are added to the favorite list by clicking on the add to favorites button within any of the application menus. Items within the favorites list may be removed by clicking on the edit favorites list option located at the base of the list. Rockworks includes over 500 programs. Some of these programs process data within the relational borehole database. Some of them process data within the simple data sheets. Some read from both. To help in figuring out what all these programs do, we've added an abstract window along the right side of the main menu. This area is used to briefly describe each application as the cursor is moved over the program name. All of the Rockworks application menus have been redesigned to use a nested tabbed interface. Tabs located along the left side of the menus provide access to submenus with more options. Menus within menus within menus. Why did we do this? Unlike previous versions, which used a more traditional tree-like structure, these menus provide more space for longer descriptions, helpful text, and cartoons. Another reason for the redesign has to do with adding diagram embellishments. The old tree-style menus were just too long and we were reluctant to add more options. Conversely, the implicit organization afforded by the tabbed pages allow the user to never see the sub-options for items that have been disabled. This has allowed us to add more embellishment options to the diagrams. This, in turn, eliminates some of the post-processing that was previously required. In a similar fashion, 
It allowed us to add new output options that eliminate the extra steps involved in exporting to other formats. 2D and 3D fault information is now stored within a table within the main SQL database. This provides a centralized place for enabling and disabling specific faults without the rigmarole of separate files. In addition, there are numerous ways to input data into this fault table as shown by the import menu on the lower left. The new time-based modeling program creates snapshot models by filtering and modeling t-data at specified time intervals. The output can be used by the contour map animation program, the 3D surface animation program, the solids to 3D animation program, the 3D isoshell animation program, and the time-based volumetrics program. As you may have noticed in the previous slide, there are lots of new animation tools. The video output from these programs can be saved as WMV, MP4, GIF, and individual image frames. Programs that create 3D animations include direction, inclination, and zoom settings. Using these parameters simultaneously will produce more compelling videos. For the sake of comparison, in this example, we're just changing the viewing direction. In this example, we're only changing the inclination or tilt. In this example, we're just changing the zoom. But in this example, we're simultaneously changing all three parameters. Another new feature is the All Logs to PDF program. This application will plot strip logs for all of the enabled boreholes and save them within a single PDF file as separate pages. It's a major time saver. In addition to options for saving and retrieving menu settings, an Add to Playlist button is now included at the top right corner of almost every application menu. When clicked, the current application and all of its menu settings will be added to a list of steps called the playlist. The playlist is used to execute, in a batch fashion, all of the applications within the list without any user interaction. Individual items within the playlist may be adjusted by double-clicking on the item title. Special items, such as datasheet loading and SQL queries, may be added via the Add pull-down. The playlist provides an audit trail to serve as a record of what was done and all of the associated menu settings. Automation of data processing in which new data is being introduced on an ongoing basis, such as resampling and monitoring. A memory aid for projects that are infrequently revisited. A template for processing different data sets or sites using a streamlined workflow. And turnkey tools for colleagues or clients who need to use Rockworks capabilities without learning the details of how to use it. There are a bunch of other new features, but I wanted to save time to show the playlist because it's probably the most important new feature within Rockworks 2020. The biggest challenge facing all software developers is user workflow. A typical project involves many different types of analyses and diagrams, and there's no way to create a turnkey program that does everything. During the last 30 years, we pushed the RCL, or Rockworks command language, as a means to automate workflow, but the RCL used a scripting language that was clunky, to say the least. As a result, only a handful of people use it. The playlist, on the other hand, is pretty darn easy to use and to modify. In terms of productivity, I believe that it's the best thing we've ever done. Thanks for watching.